One of our dear friends on this show is Gilbert Gottfried. He's stopping by to say hello. We haven't seen him in a while. Richard Jenny is also here. Richard Jenny uh, is going to be at Caroline's Comedy Club. This guy's funny. How do comedians get along with each other? Oh, yeah. Well, Richard and, and Gilbert are going to get married. I think. <laughs> here, comes, here comes Gilbert. Everybody loves Gilbert. Except his mother. Gilbert looking dapper as ever. Gilbert, you're dressing so much better. <laughs> that shirt with the alligator. I've never seen one of those before. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Can I call that eyes on? Where'd you get such a snappy shirt? Golf shirt. Are you golfing now? It's not even an alligator. It's more like some dinosaur. Is, is it like a yeah. knockoff? It is. Yeah, yeah. It's not even a real eyes on shirt. <laughs> not a real dinosaur on it. Where do you get a shirt like that? Do you shop? Oh, I shop at only the best place. No, do, do you or did your mother buy that shirt? Yeah, you? yeah. No, I just, I don't know how I wind do up. Do you get those stuff. on the street or? Because I know Gilbert doesn't go clothes shopping. <laughs> I just know. How do you what? get your clothes? Seriously, where do they come from? Well, there's stuff I can steal from TV shows. Because when he was in the hospital, remember, he wanted me to go buy him underwear and yeah. a Yeah, he sends anybody to go shopping. Yeah, I mean, I know you don't go shopping. <laughs> I, you should be on one of those reality shows. I'm telling you, it would be fascinating. Do you know Richard Jenny? Oh, yes. You do? Yes. Do you have any respect for him? Oh, absolutely not. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, think, you think you're the world's funniest comedian, don't you? Yeah, I'm, funny. the, I'm the only one. You're yeah. funnier than Richard Jenny? Yeah. Oh, I'm Richard, just... don't you do a routine on Gilbert or something? You do an impression of him, don't I you? I do an impression of him. Yeah. <laughs> if I get my clothes from TV shows and whatever else. That's pretty good. I like that. Do we you like to hang out together. He's used to hang out with him because I, I had a car. <laughs> <laughs> He's the cheapest guy that ever lived. <laughs> you know what? He would I, use you? I don't really like Richard Jenny, but he's got a car. <laughs> Have you been to Gilbert's apartment? No, no one has. Well, I know a guy who went there. Richard yeah. Belzer went there. And How he did said, Richard get it? He some, somehow <laughs> Gilbert slipped up and let Richard in. Wow. They say it's frightening. And I think Ratso's seen the apartment too, right? Oh, yeah. yeah and Ratso's no uh, big spender, but supposedly Gilbert. He was upset with Gilbert? Yeah. Gilbert's apartment supposedly is this, a, a room littered with like Chinese takeout cartons. <laughs> and guard like like you know those lawn furniture it's like a serial killer you know those part. chairs you open up on uh, the beach a like with one? the plastic weaved yeah, uh... yeah that's his furniture <laughs> <laughs> and he has it, one TV in the bedroom or something and it, you just got a VCR what like a year ago uh, yeah something <laughs> is it a big television I just got a toaster a year ago oh, why are you so cheap though? I mean why I mean you're gonna die with all this money yes. do you have a depression mentality Oh, yes, yeah, because I was through that. Yeah. No, he's just depressed. When I no. used to work the Coconut Grove with Eddie Cantor. Are you one of those guys afraid your, your, your show business career is going to dry up at any minute? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my career drying up. No, you've made, Isn't that uh, redundant? You've made a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you make a lot of money. I mean, yeah, yeah. you do. You're a wealthy guy. And he's guy. got every last cent. Yes. Mm. Do you, do you, uh, I have my dollar taped to the wall <laughs> like the Greek Well, Hollywood shop. Squares pays you now a salary, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Hey, because you're on, like, every day. And yeah. where does that go, Gilbert? <laughs> well, I, I give it to charity. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever donated to charity? Be honest. Have you ever given anything to charity? I don't think so. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. If, we, if we went back and, and looked at your tax return. your form, tax return. Would it ever say, like, you know, gave to the, the like, poor? Like, I did a uh, cartoon for Channel 13 recently, and that's how I got the tote bag and umbrella. <laughs> I see. You won't yeah. even donate to that. Yeah. <laughs> So you're a cheap man. Yes. And uh, you. <laughs> and Richard, you 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 hung around. Have you seen him get laid? Does he get curls or not? Here one night. I don't know if he he's, he can tell you the end because I never found out what happened. Well, Me and him. Are oh, he's so yeah, honest. Yeah, He'll yeah, tell oh, you yeah. everything. Yeah. Uh, oh no, this one I know. I, we're sitting in front of Catch a Rising Star in my car. That because he comics just hang around comedy clubs. Because he. <laughs> <laughs> because he's cheap and I had a car, so he would, he would hang out with me. Right. So uh, I was sitting in front of Catch and this beautiful girl, and I was that really like a model level woman, sticks yes. her head in the car and goes, Are you Gilbert Gottfried? And he goes, Hey, yeah. And she goes, uh, <laughs> you're, my, you're my favorite comedian. And he goes, All right, thanks. And she goes, I sound like the dog from Soupy Sam. <laughs> 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 don't say don't that it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> right. And she goes, uh, she says, listen, I'd like to buy you a drink. I'd love to get to know you. And he goes, eh, I don't know. And she goes, no, really, I wouldn't. I'm like elbowing him, like, get out of the car. Gilbert is playing hard to get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love this. Yeah, well, you know, I'm a big star. I can't I just go know. off of you. Because he might blow the free ride. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
So I'm sitting there, and I go, Gilbert, you got to you gotta go, you got to go. At the very least, you so, want to buy him a drink. Yeah. yeah. So buy him. So straight in the eye, and i got to change one of the words. Yes. He goes, uh, um, what are my chances of banging you? <laughs> <laughs> really? I use the F chord. Right, right, even, right. And she doesn't even blink, and she goes, well, actually, not very good. I just want to get to know you. So he finally, I get him out of the car, and he goes. And the next day, I see him, and I go, how did it go? And he goes, it was weird. And I said, well, what happened? And she says, I said, do you want to go to my place? And she goes, no. And I said, how about your place? And she goes, no. And I said, where do you want to go? And she goes, take me to the emergency room. <laughs> take me to the emergency room? <laughs> what yeah, happened? See, because first we're talking. <laughs> Yeah. We're talking, she buys me a drink. <laughs> and you just like, no, no, I really want to talk to her. <laughs> I want to find out about her acting career. But don't you want to? <laughs> don't you want to play the game a little bit and yeah. come off charming so yeah. you can get her into bed? Why, yeah. Bob? So, so we're talking, and it's like, <laughs> then somehow I, I sort of. We like I maneuver something in the conversation to somehow get me invited over to her place. Oh, you do? Yeah. So I think this sounds good. And then she, we, we're sitting in the bar for a while longer, and then she goes, well, let's go. And I thought, okay. And I said, to your place? And she goes, no, to the emergency ward. And what goes on? What? Some kind of, and on top of everything else, it was some sort of vaginal thing. Oh, really? She had, like, she had a penis. Yeah. You know, her, 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 what she had a real, Why was she sat so, there with you? Yeah. <laughs> so it was a real turn on. <laughs> Wow, isn't that called mis menstruation, Gilbert? Yeah, no, 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 it's, it's, like, it's really weird. There's this girl, and, and every month, weird things go on. Oh, although this, this, Gilbert, I gotta, I gotta explain the facts alive to you. This, this one was no, beyond. This, is, this yeah. is unusual. Yeah, yeah. this okay. one was like inflammation and burning, Ooh, and she tells blood. you this at the bar. Yes. Yeah. But she had to stop for a drink with you first. Yes. <laughs> Did and, you apply and, a tourniquet? Yeah. <laughs> It's the least she can do. And then she, a couple of times she came in to catch after that and yeah. used to come over and talk to me. And by then no. I was already You're not going to mess with that thing. Yeah, yeah, I don't did know. You ever, did you take her to the emergency room? I, I she, she, well, she paid for the cab. So, so you went with So her. I just went along for the ride. <laughs> what an interesting <laughs> night. Her and, and, wow. Yeah, so I remember she used to come in to catch a lot and she'd come over and talk to me by then. I, and she was no beautiful. way I can get an erection. Right. Yes. <laughs> you could barely get one as it is. Exactly. Right. And but she was beautiful. So, Richard, you would hang around with Gilbert. I would think that would be a very unsatisfying friendship. I mean, Gilbert's a taker. <laughs> Gilbert really? And Gilbert takes, 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 and you would have to give, 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 I would assume. That was more or less it. But we yeah. sit in front of his house. Where'd you live? On Avenue A or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give out his address. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That was then. Okay. Yeah. Well, I didn't yeah. give the exact. Yeah. yeah. It's twelve thirty-one. Is that where yeah, chief apartments are? <laughs> I guess. The, I guess. I, I mean, back in your taking, days. I never got a tape of uh, "Son of the Beach." Yeah, we don't want to give it to you. Yeah, <laughs> you were on again, as I, a matter of fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah. showed it a few times. Just, yeah, it's called "Get a Television Set." Yeah, yeah. yourself. Yes. <laughs> you got a VCR now. Yeah, we'll get you a tape. Yes, yeah, it's coming any day. Now. Yeah, exactly. You we're very funny in it. Yeah. Is we, the television oh, but we're never asking you back. Yeah. <laughs> but is the television set at least a big one or no? Just, yeah. How big is your set? It's a uh, black and white Phil Cole. <laughs> well, it's a really small but and, Richard, and I still watch Sid Caesar on it. But Richard, weren't you disgusted with Gilbert after a while? I mean, did you stop it? Do you call him now that you live in L.A. or do you, do you guys stay in touch at any level? No, I never never get to talk to Gilbert anymore. But we wanted to. We kind of bonded over this girl. There was this girl singer there that we both. It was really hot that we both wanted. Right. So instead of actually doing anything with her, we would sit in, we'd sit in my car and uh, do imaginary courtroom scenes where the, the defense for us uh, doing her was based on the size of her vagina. And we Whoa. would bring various witnesses. So on that's the kind of fun you have with Gilbert. I would think, though, hanging around with Gilbert, when there's a girl you both want, you easily win out over Gilbert, right? Well, I was. Don't forget, I had a sixty. I had a seventy-six Nova. So, <laughs> if you lose the girl, if, if you lose the girl to Gilbert, you got to feel pretty bad. Yes, you do. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you do. Because Gilbert, you, you, you have very little success with women, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, but what happened to his girlfriend? Didn't he have a girlfriend? Most of my time, I spend running. Are you still with yeah. the girlfriend? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Do you still have that girlfriend? Ah, who knows? Oh, oh I'm going to give you a straight answer. Oh, come on. You still with a, with a, with a young lady? Like, I like how you act annoyed. Like, that's going to make me give the real answer. <laughs> no, but no. Oh, oh, oh I not, annoyed though? him. What is wrong with saying I have <laughs> yes. a girlfriend? Yeah, who are you keeping away? Yeah, I mean, well, oh, he's afraid the other girls won't want him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really? Well, I mean, really? She was a yeah, nice girl. I mean, I was it, shocked. It's like how Fabian and all those teen stars don't want people to know <laughs> that, that, right. that they're married. Yes. <laughs> but you, uh, you, yeah, it's true. It's the Gilbert mistake. <laughs> like how John Lennon, it was bad when they said he was married. Right. It's yeah. relevant. His agent told him to yeah. say that. <laughs> Don't ever admit to having a girl. Gilbert, at least you have a philosophy in show business. Yes. Never admit to being with one girl. Yeah. <laughs> so, but the girl I met was very normal. Very yeah. so, so there are girls you will take the time out to get to know them and, yes. and uh, learn their personalities. Yes. And does he invite them to the house with the lawn furniture? <laughs> Where do you entertain the young lady? <laughs> <laughs> Richard, if you were friends with him, how is it you never ended up in his apartment? It's Gilbert Gottfried. Come on. <laughs> you're, not any, you're not doing anything normal with Gilbert Gottfried. Did you, did you pay for everything when you were friends with him? Did you have to take him to dinner and uh, and, and it drive was everywhere? It dropping him off down in the Alphabet City type of relationship. So he would call you up and say, listen, I need a ride somewhere, and he would come pick him up? I wish he would. <laughs> yeah. No, it never got to that point. Right. I took Sam Kennison to the airport when he had to get out of town. Right. Because nobody had a car. You know, I was yeah. like the only idiot from Brooklyn that had a car. So right. I, be, I got people to hang out with me. It wasn't funny. Gilbert wouldn't pay for a cab and take himself. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. All right. That's hey, impossible. This, this new guy around here is not funny, but he's got a car. Right. What is it? Uh... I'm, I'm wondering what Gilbert's apartment looks like these days because I, the way I heard it used to look was there was like lawn furniture in there. But That's all, what we've been talking about. But also yeah. he had a. Um, uh, he just, just came in late. He used to have bakery trays. You, you know when you go to a bakery, yeah. right? You know, that the, the, they, they keep on. Uh, big metal. Yeah. yeah, that's where I cook the body no, no. parts. I was told that you had one of those in there, and that you uh, used to keep all the stuff you got. Like every time you go on Arsenio or one of those shows, you'd get like a little gift package. <laughs> And that you kept them on these big uh, bakery trays. That's I definitely have a lot of crap from those yeah. shows. Yeah. Do you ever buy anything? Or yeah. No. Most of my stuff says like Arsenio or Leno or something. Do you have any special sort of extravagances? Are you into like chocolates? Well, or... yeah, clothes. <laughs> You're a clothes. No, but really, I mean, do you have any? I mean, you don't have a computer, Toy right? Do you have a hobby? Do you have a hobby? None. No, seriously. Like, no, no it, hobby. Like, even comic books or something? Nothing. What do you do all day? Faberge egg? No, you got me. <laughs> no, really, like, what did you do yesterday? What was your day? Give me a start. What time did you wake up yesterday? Yeah, let, let's see. I wake up, and then it's like, I've told you this before. It's like lying in bed and then wondering how bad I have to pee before I get out of but bed. But is it like noon when you wake up? It varies. Right. Yeah. But you're not an early riser. I can't I, see someone in your physical condition. Yeah. Driving her up, early. like starting yeah, the day. You gotta work to have a body like mine. Are you depressed? Are you a depressed guy? Oh no, no I'm seriously. just happy as hell. No, no, I mean like when you wake up, you go, "Wow, another day." I go, "Whoop de do." Right. Yeah. He wakes up singing. Do you ever say to yourself, "Gee, I I don't know why people want to live. I I want to <laughs> die." <laughs> you ever do that? <laughs> Most people say that when they see me. Have you ever Have yeah. you ever done any sort of a, um? Have you ever tried the exercise thing at all, a gym or anything like that? Did you ever walk around? Uh, I walk. Do you ever, yeah. do you, have you ever, like, tried to look like... Because I don't see Rich Jen anymore. <laughs> have you ever tried to... I have to walk now. <laughs> well, no, do you ever lift weights? A trainer or, or just lift weights a small trainer? Thing? Yeah, well, can't you tell by my physique? No, no he, wouldn't pay, he wouldn't pay for it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> right. Did you ever go to a Nick Romanoff running clinic? Oh, yeah. He's not doing that. He's not right. counting cashews. Right. I met the girlfriend. I mean, I don't know if she's still your girlfriend, but I met her a couple of times. She's very nice yeah. and she's very normal. Like, was it a normal? Is it a normal relationship? Do you go out and pay for dinner? Oh, sure. Only the best places. <laughs> 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 Yeah. 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 on the green with sir. Yeah. You go to Chanterelle. Yeah. All of yes. oh, oh, wow. Yeah, you got all the hot spots. You're amazing. Places where you have to wear a jacket. <laughs> yeah. You like getting your fancy clothes on. You know, yes. He doesn't even belong to the Friars Club or anything like that, huh? No, he, he belongs to Tavern on the Roy Rogers. Yes. <laughs> where I run into Gwyneth Paltrow there. Do you ever have, hang around with celebrities? You, oh, okay, let me tell you the celebrity. I've had, I think, three celebrities up to my apartment. Good. Really? Okay, well, what? Belzer. Richard Bells. No, he's hardly a celebrity. Yeah, I know. But that's not who you call me. I know. The first, first two are stretching. But uh, there's Richard Belzer, uh, Penn Jillette. Okay, Penn and Teller. Yeah. And not even the whole Penn and Teller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
All right, that's a celebrity. Go ahead. <laughs> it's 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 like having and half that, of Alan and Rossi. And I heard the third oh. one, the third celebrity was the fat guy from Hollywood Squares, the gay one. Bruce <laughs> <laughs> Valenti. Yes, he, he, yes, he's my masseuse. <laughs> yes. She loves the man. Now, who is the third celebrity? I actually had Uma Thurman. Ooh, yeah. now you're talking. Yeah. How did you get Uma cool? up to your apartment? I a very nothing uh, story. Though, yeah. But yeah. I, she was actually up there. Greg she was like a up. friend of a friend. What was it, a roofie involved? Or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you meet her on the internet? Was she conscious when she was in the apartment? Take a hand to her and beat her. I went for a drink with Gilbert. I woke up the next morning, my ass hurt. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what, my, what kind of alcohol this was. But do, you, do you have people, like even not celebrities, just friends up to your place? Like, hey, come on over, we're going to hang out at my place. No. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So how Uma, does he invite Uma Thurman to the lawn chair? Oh, oh, oh no, she, I would, someone else was coming over, and she was a friend of theirs. Oh, oh. But I can actually say she was did up you, there. Did you make your move? Oh, of course. Yeah. Did you, seriously, of did you course try I nailed move? her. Yeah. How long did she stay in that apartment? Did you do your Groucho impression there? <laughs> Oh, hey, Omar. <laughs> you know, years ago, we would we would stay at these boarding houses. <laughs> but they didn't have hotels at these places that we worked at. They would more be boarding houses where they'd put up people who would just stay. They would charge you 35 cents. And that included breakfast and dinner. And that was pretty expensive. <laughs> you would see Groucho on these talk shows. Yeah. And he would talk to you like you're so scared. 100 years old. Why did he wear a beret to the day he, he just on? was not funny yes. anymore. And Dick Cavill would ask him, you couldn't think of anything funny to say. He was completely burnt out. And he would just start going into these rambling stories about 35 cents at a boarding house. Oh, right. Do you remember the very, very last interviews you would see, which weren't even from Dick Cavett? Somebody had interviewed him, but he was had the beret. He had almost no face left. And some <laughs> top wife would hold his arm and sort of help him along. Yeah, nurse. Yeah, or I thought it was. I think it was his wife. He didn't get married. No, it was a nurse. Oh, he had that that so-called girlfriend. Right, right. right. But, yeah. She would help him along and remind a him what he forgot. Aaron Fleming. <laughs> And she was an actress. Oh, is that right? Is that right, Groucho? And she was an actress, and she worked with Woody Allen and then people like that. And uh, <laughs> two years ago, we would meet an actress in shows. <laughs> now, back then... They would happen. court back then and date the actresses? They, they, well, that's what you would do. You would uh, take them on a date. And that's what they would do back then. Did you then. have sex with any of them, Groucho? We, we would have sex, because back then, <laughs> back, back, then. Back, back then, you would see a girl, and she would be attractive, and men would react uh, sexually. Did they have anal what, would you have, Yeah, would you have anal back then? No, we would have anal sex. No, they hadn't these, discovered that. With these, back then. <laughs> back then, they had anal back sex. Back then, anal sex was described as anal sex. <laughs> and we would... <laughs> but, <laughs> he was the first one to do a Baba Booey impression. You were the first <laughs> one. <laughs> I got someone on the I got someone on the phone. I I heard I heard I heard a story. <laughs> Let's go to Rich. There's a lot of people who are anxious to speak to Gilbert. <laughs> what do you do when you get invited to Gilbert's apartment? What is the what do you do? You you, you, you head for Z Hills. Don't you assume the second you walk into Gilbert's apartment, like the big lumber goes down on the door? <laughs> no, would you ever offer someone like a drink? <laughs> Yeah. Like when people come to my apartment, I say, "Could I get you something to drink?" Yeah, I'd say the water faucet's in the other room. Right. Yeah. He'd charge him for it. Yeah, it's I like did. coming up to mine is like visiting the monsters. Rich, you're on the air. Hey, good morning, Howard. Hey. Great as always. Thanks. Uh, I just wanted to say, Chris Christopherson, John. <laughs> Yo, kick Whoopi's ugly, unfunny ass out of that center square already, brother. Cause you're way better. What about that, Gilbert? Do you hate? Are you gonna you? kick Whoopi's unfunny ass out of that square? Yeah. What about that? <laughs> Who is what's going? I don't watch Hollywood Squares a lot. Ever since you got on, I stopped watching. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's going on on the show? You I only watched it when Jim J. Bullock was on. <laughs> he, listen, he knew how to dominate that square. Yeah. <laughs> he you had a magic. Have rain well, in your square or anything? Come on. Man. Right. 
And, and what about Jackie? Will he be coming back to Hollywood? Oh, God. <laughs> I told you what happened. <laughs> what happened time? there? I <laughs> ah, forget it. No, I don't even want to no. go into it. He. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go. He. Oh, he loves this. Everybody, everybody on the show is like a great crowd. Everyone on the show would say a line, and the crowd. Crowd is like cheering and laughing, and then I would say a joke, and they're all like cheering and laughing, and and then Jackie would say something, they would be like dead, <laughs> <laughs> and then it went to the next question, and they're like everyone like Whoopi says something, everyone's laughing. I say something, they're like laughing and applauding. He says something again, dead, right. oh. and then it's like we're going into the commercial, and Jackie turns to me disgustedly, and he goes. Boy, this is a terrible crowd, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> they really suck. <laughs> well, anyway, it's hard to believe. There probably was a bad crowd. <laughs> uh, Darren, you're on the air. Hello. Hi. You're Hi, on with uh, Gilbert Gottfried, considered to be the comedian's comedian. Yes. Which means most the people don't like him. Don't <laughs> the audience. Actually, uh, Gilbert will be at Caroline's uh, Comedy Club tomorrow night in Manhattan. Uh, go to carolines.com for ticket info. Well, let's hope a lot of comedians aren't. Yeah. <laughs> You're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, uh, Gilbert Gottfried, he was in uh, Pickering, which is a little town outside of Toronto, though not too long ago. Um, and I seen him at the, the strip club, and he was sitting right in Pervert's Row. Yes. And he took the <laughs> ugliest girl into the VIP lounge. Did you go to a strip it's club in awesome. Toronto and take an ugly girl not, in there with you? Not, not only did I go to a strip club, <clears throat> like like it's so shocking that I'd be in a strip club. Hey, you go in there, you pay girls, and they take their clothes yeah, off. Is it a fetish to I, get I, I love the idea club? that someone calls up and says, I saw Gilbert in the strip club. Right. Like, wow, well, we never in yeah. it. Well, you know why it's interesting? Because you seem so private and so guarded about this ridiculous private yes. life of yours. I actually, in Canada, went to a swap party. Oh, that what? Means, yes. see, you see, you have interesting experiences, yes. but you're so reluctant to talk about yeah. them. Now, now, give I, us a glimpse oh, of that. Swap okay. party. I was in Ajax, Canada, wherever right. that is. And you had a girl with you? Uh, no, no. This is but this is my celebrity stuff. Oh, I see. Because usually to swap, you have to have a girl with you right. to swap yeah, exactly. out. Exactly. <laughs> you had nothing. With me, they said, look, who are we kidding? Right. Uh, so this uh, one comedian at the club says, like, uh, after the show, there's going to be a swap party going on. Okay. And it's like, usually you have to have... Gilbert's like, well, if I trade my shirt, what do I get back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Gilbert went out and shot a moose and dragged it in. <laughs> so go ahead. And, yes. and he says, also a story that doesn't end with... <laughs> so go ahead, so you go to the swap party. <laughs> but he says... Usually you cannot get in unless you have someone with you, but, you know, my celebrity status. Well, you're a big star. He's on Hollywood Square. Yeah, after so all. it was one of these things that we're driving around for a long time trying to find this place. And you're interested in this? Of course. Yeah, okay. Who wouldn't be? Right. Uh, you might get something. Yeah. And then, doubt like, it. <laughs> like, uh, like, I had a strip mall, you know, just all these stores there, and it's like one of the storefronts says closed. And we go in that one, and there's like a bar and... In the middle of, oh, first we see some black girl walking around in her underwear who's the hostess. <laughs> was she hot? Oh, uh, yeah, she, she, she would look good. And then, then Was she very dark skinned? Yes. She was? Uh, yes, dark skinned and, very, and white underwear. Oh. Uh, yeah. Darker than, great let's say, contrast. Whoopi? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so a dark skinned black woman yes. and white underwear. And then I saw there were two girls. These two women dancing together, topless. Oh. Are they good and, looking? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, there was like another girl joins them, and she takes her top off, and they're like the three are dancing together on the dance floor. And the three of them have like three guys with them. Uh, I, they're all dancing just with each other. Wow. Yeah. Where are the guys? Uh, no, there are guys there too, and then it's like. So did you take your top off? Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> and that's when the party ended. No, so, the girls are, so the girls are dancing topless. So then I'm, like, standing there just watching this, and then at one point, like, all three of them run over to me and surround me, and they go and they start yelling out, Oh, you're Gilbert Gottfried. We've seen you on TV, and it was like... That's the one time you don't mind that. Yeah. Okay. Al although, at that party, it was, like, a little weird. And then they said, can you yeah. take us to the... Give a second. So, yeah. so the girls are dancing on top of us. They say, oh, Gilbert Godfrey, yes. we see you. And then what happens? That's basically it. Do you I do told anything you, with it's them? Not, 
it it was a, I don't know. It was a very creepy atmosphere. How long did you stay there? Not not very long. You know you were being yeah. photographed. It's got to be. Oh, of course, of right. course. Wow. Well, and At that's the, the story. That story. Well, you you asked me. So Why I would you leave that. though? Yeah. Why would you leave? I don't understand. It looks like things are starting to heat up. Yeah, no, I mean, you could have done something there, but the whole place was just too did weird. They, did anyone touch your privates? Oh, uh, no, no. No. Oh. No, they touched my generals. You went to, <laughs> you went to, you went to a, a swap party, girls yeah. were dancing around you naked, and you left. Pretty much. All right, well, that's yeah. a great you story. you went to the strip club. Was the girl you took in the VIP room ugly? No, no. That's, uh, and actually someone bought that for me. Oh, I yeah. see. Yeah. Oh. Well, there you go. Two two really horrible stories. Yes. So he didn't even pay for his trip to the VIP club in there. Right, let me see what else Gilbert's up to. Among recent Gilbert entertainment projects... There are projects. It has been reported that Gilbert is rumored to become the host of the new syndicated version of Weakest Link. Is that I, true? That That's something everyone called me about. There was an article in the Post, and it's like no one told me that. And your career is skyrocketing. Oh, yeah. What do you do? The weakest link. <laughs> I mean, he used to be the host of So you're not going to be the host no, of no. no one would put you on a show yeah. like that. Well, that would, he couldn't. It's too people. much money to lose. Right. Yeah. Uh, it says here that you play a paperclip on a Microsoft commercial. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know when Gilbert is best. When you can't see him. Yeah. <laughs> and then I did a bunch of water commercials. You did from yeah. Perrier. Yeah. Bowling yeah. Spring. From Bowling Spring. Spring. Yeah. yeah. I heard them. I've really heard good. Those. Look at you. Yeah. Why would they hire you? <laughs> Why would they hire you? <laughs> and, um, no, actually, uh, that's a, that's, that's a big deal. You get paid a lot of money for that. Yeah. You're still doing the parrot. And, uh, and a bunch of cartoons for yeah. PBS. Right. Well, Cyber Chase. Oh, really? Yeah. And you're also going to appear in a movie with Britney Spears. <laughs> Is that true? Your first starring role with Britney Spears? Is that true? Uh... Yeah, yeah, you, you could like technically say that. Well, what, what do you mean? That? What do you mean by I, that? I never ran into her on the set. I think she was in the movie for about a second and a half. Oh, I see. So you did do a Britney Spears the, movie. Yeah, the, it's like well, she's there for a second and a half. And it's like, not a Britney Spears movie. And I think there are two members of NSYNC in it. It's like the guy who produced the movie is this guy who produces all these boy band bands. bands. We yeah. had him on Perlman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the guy. We, is there any project you'll turn yeah. down? Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, this movie was made about four years ago, but I guess they're waiting for just the right time to release it. Right. Milton, you're on the air. Oh, yeah, Howard. He gets a lot of money. He's very, very in demand. Milton, go ahead. You're on the yeah, air. Yeah, well, Howard, how you doing? Yeah. Listen, I was at Kutcher's Country Club on Saturday night, and Richard Petty was there. Who's Richard Petty? No, who's the guy you got there? Richard, Richard Jenny. Yeah, Richard Jenny. Let me tell you something. This guy was as funny as hell. Yeah. You know how it is having a guy like Richard telling dirty jokes to all 80-year-old Jewish Afrikakas? Really? Yeah. Big you know, big. he was, a, you know. He Richard is very head. funny. That's why he's here. Richard was hilarious. He kept the crowd and those Afrikakas off their chairs for almost an hour. All right, thank you. That's nice of you to say. He's a great comedian, and it was it was worth every penny going up there to see him. That's Rich's agent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Richard was fantastic, especially when he was telling the animal jokes. All right, thank you. Well, uh, I like when he says, especially when he's telling the animal jokes, like we, everyone goes, oh, yes, those animal jokes. Everybody Jim, knows Richard's yeah. animal jokes. <laughs> a duck walks in. <laughs> Jim, uh, go ahead. Good morning, Howard. Uh, I'm a little upset, you know, hearing Gilbert doing commercials. I have stopped patronizing two quality products, my, mainly Subway sandwiches and Deer Park water, until he is yanked. And those those bread trays, in his, they're from day-old bread that the Subway pays them for doing the commercials. You are going to ban products where you hear Gilbert's voice? Yes, I'm, I'm not going to patronize Subway or Deer Park water until he's yanked. Well, well, well I, I like that he's got a political stand. Well, what, what, what is Gilbert doing to you? Yeah, It's just, yes, yes. It, it, I, I can't take it. I, I can't take his I out. like a guy who takes a stance. He's not going to eat sandwiches. All right, let's go to, yeah, he's going to avoid all subways. <laughs> he's going to cross the street and go to Blimpies as a political <laughs> statement. How many other voiceover guys have that kind of impact, though? <laughs> right. You know, one thing not to use the product, but to actively boycott. Yes. <laughs> Way to go, Gilbert. Uh, let's go to Chris. Chris, you're on the air. Even that guy, Jared, is not eating the sandwich. Go ahead, Chris. Good morning, Howard. Good yeah. morning, Robin. Belcher, who cares? Uh, Gilbert. 
Yes. When you did that bloodsucker sketch, I, I literally crashed my car into some bushes outside. You're talking house. about Dracula Gottfried? Oh, yeah. man. And I had to take the bus for two months, but it was worth it. You crashed your car when Gilbert did his vampire. Yes, I was judgment. laughing, and I uh, crashed into some bushes backing out of my uh, driveway. I had to take the bus for two months. <laughs> and now every time I see my friends, they do they go, Hey, I'm Gilbert Gottfried, and they make fun of me. And, well, uh, it's true. It, the vampire, when you become Dracula Gottfried, it is your greatest You moment. know, a woman on Hollywood Squares crashed a car during that bit. Is that right? Yeah. How many car crashes occurred when yeah. you do Dracula Gottfried? I like Gottfried? to kill people. <laughs> yeah. Because so, uh, Gilbert, could you do a little of that that Dracula for me since you destroyed my car and all? <laughs> well, I mean, uh, an artist like Gilbert. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. it takes time to prepare. He's working into it. I need the scary music. Well, I'll tell you what, Gilbert. We're going to do we'll take a break, and yeah. maybe you'll stay here with me and Richard, Jenny, and Robin, and uh, we'll do the news together. And maybe Dracula got to oh, yeah. appear. Maybe he'll stop in. That would be great. That would to be me, great. Dracula God. I was watching. You know that show, Actor Studio. Yes. They they had on Mike Myers and he keeps asking him goes so if if Garth were here let me talk to Garth oh so he does that. Yeah. Isn't that awful? <laughs> and then you don't want to do Garth let let me talk to Austin Powers I want to see what Austin thinks you know, I would he did that to Whoopi Goldberg well you know what he may, now let me talk then let me oh let me talk to the Swedish girl you know what I can right? let me talk to Johnny Carson because I'm trapped on PBS Hell with you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Unbelievable. I didn't mean to hamper your artistic genius. Yeah. <laughs> Kilbert, let me hear a little bit of Dracula Godfrey. Yeah. Well, but he wouldn't say, let me hear a little bit of it. It would be like, I, 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 I want, want to, I want to speak. I want to interview uh, Dracula Godfrey. And what, what, what do you think of being here, Dracula? Yeah. And you know, and the worst yeah. lead-in. So, you know, like, oh, like, oh, like, oh, you know, like, I want to speak. No, I want to speak to the guy from Austin Powers. And then he get the, then he gets the guy from Austin Powers. And he has nothing to ask him. The worst lead-in, the worst joke killer was one time Don Rickles was on with uh, Barbara Walters. Right. And Barbara Walters goes, you're known as an insult comedian, so go ahead, insult me. <laughs> and it's like, so it's death. Yeah, 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 right. Oh, like, what do you say to her? Yeah. Except that, all right, you're a filthy Jew. <laughs> All right, listen. Sure, if I left, you're yeah. a filthy Jew. How's that for an insult, honey? Yeah. Yeah. A porno star. You're known as a porno star. <laughs> I know. Gilbert, you do the voice of a paperclip. Let me let me hear what the paperclip is thinking right I, now. I want the paperclip to sit in front of me. <laughs> I want to introduce the paper the paperclip. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're the paperclip, aren't you? What's wrong with that guy? Oh, 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 he's, oh he's horrible. Could he suck any more oh, ass the, than... <laughs> he's scarier than Dracula Godfrey. Yeah. I like when he goes, uh, Bobby De Niro, you are so great. You, in fact, when you move your bowels, uh, gold, gold bullion comes out. It smells like a bouquet of flowers. Right. Uh, but Bobby, fart. when you were doing Godfather... No, he you, goes, and then you did a little thing. Called the, called Godfather. the Godfather. And if... None and of, he, oh, and then he acts like he's the one who saw it. <laughs> he's one did a little thing called the Godfather. And if none of you have seen this, <laughs> it's really worth renting yeah. or doing anything. 20-minute build-up. Then he finally says to him, what was going through your mind when Marty Scott I mean, when Francis Ford Coppola uh, asked yeah. you to do The Godfather, well, you know, yeah. <laughs> the guy has nothing and to I say. I like how lately, because, you know, at first it was all like De Niro and Pacino and people like now that. Now it's anybody. Now yeah. we're down to Sally yeah. Field. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like? I saw Val Kilmer. <laughs> what was he it? had yeah. Val Kilmer reading his audition for Juilliard. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, Sally feels like, I met Burt Reynolds in 1964, and we did that awful car movie together. <laughs> what if Burt Reynolds... Were, oh, it's Phil Murray. Was he a city? If, if Sister Petrillo was here, <laughs> <laughs> what would she say? I would put on my hat and fly out here. I tired flying. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the Mike Myers one was uh, was the first time they'd ever done two hours. It was a special two hours. Oh, oh, yes. An hour for De Niro, but two for Mike Myers. He showed three hours with Sally Struthers. 
<laughs> Sally, what was it like when you saved the children? We had London Lee. <laughs> <laughs> London Lee, you were known as the uh, poor little rich boy, but what about London Lee, the private man? Yes. Can we speak to him? <laughs> Can we speak to the poor London Lee? <laughs> Uh, next week we have the Hudson brothers. Uh, next week, <laughs> Ralph Mouth. The happy days. Now you you used to be uh, Ralph Mouth. If Ralph Mouth were here, of course you are Donnie Most, but but now you're Don Most. Why why the change? Well, you know. Uh, and now, if I could speak to Ralph Mouth, I'd like to ask him a few questions. <laughs> what was it like? Were you friends with Ponzi? Uh, how did you become <laughs> Ralph Mouth? What what process did you go through? Is that your idea? Take us back to the day you auditioned for Ralph Mouth. <laughs> and 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 what did you think when you met Fonzie? We have Lamont from Sanford and Son. <laughs> Next week rerun. <laughs> In our black comedian series. We, we have both sons from the Jeffersons. <laughs> Ted McGinley of the Love Boat, we're honored to have you here. Can we speak to you as your character? Yeah, well, come on, you want to drink there, yeah, man. <laughs> All right, we got to take a break. When we come back, perhaps the news, Richard Jenny, perhaps. Gilbert Gottfried, uh, at Caroline's Tomorrow Comedy Club. And we'll uh, be big up. When you not Dracula were how here. How old are you? <laughs> if Dracula were here, what would Dracula... And if you've never been to a comedy club in your life or seen a comedian, I suggest you do so. <laughs> that's him. That's him. <laughs> we're going to take a break. We'll be back right after these words. Richard Jenny's here as well, and he'll be at Rascal's Comedy Club in West Orange, New Jersey, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. We'll be back. All right. Howard Stern Show. Two funny comics here. Richard Jenny at Rascals Wednesday and Thursday. And Gilbert Godfrey tomorrow at Caroline's Comedy Club. Carolines.com for info. Who wouldn't want to see both those guys? You guys ought to team up, do a two-man show. Like Abbott and Costello. <laughs> He's so funny. You're going to let him push you around with that radio? <laughs> you turn it back up. <laughs> Robin, we're ready to do news. Uh, Gilbert and Richard joining us, but uh, on our phone, on our newsmaker line, yes. straight from prison, <laughs> Abe Hirschfeld, who at one time ran for mayor. Um, oh, sorry, I, I messed that up. Uh, Howard Stern, exclusive. Abe Hirschfeld is calling from prison. He went to jail. Why, Robin? Uh, I think he was accused of trying to buy a uh, kill somebody from yes. Me? Sometimes that'll land you in jail. He was paying somebody to kill somebody. Dude's like 80 years old. He's in jail. And uh, he, of course, uh, is innocent, he claims. <laughs> and uh, he even says jail is not a horrible thing. He's getting through it. But uh, he wants to make a statement. Why, why would someone in jail uh, say they're innocent if they're not? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hirschfeld, I'll give you a couple of seconds here to get your word out to the public. You must have an important message if you're locked behind bars. <laughs> I tell you, I'm very happy to talk to you because you used to be a steady customer and scores, and I built the vertical plan, and I own the vertical plan. I am in jail only because a group of about three, four people, they specialize in stealing properties from their partners. Such as Stanley Stoll stole the Apple Bank, they stole 60 of the nicest buildings in New York. How'd they do that? Bank buildings on Park Avenue, the Antonia Hotel, and 18 East 78th Street, the whole block. And now they're trying to steal from me, and I'm the first one that is defending himself, and uh, for the time being, they are not succeeding. So about, about eight years ago, I sat down the store, Judge Tompkins ordered us, we said, Seth, I said, Stanley, I'll give you $20 million for your share, or you give me $20 million for my share. We're even partners. And he told me, hey, I'll give you $3 million, or I'll put you to jail. That's the only offer. That's why I'm now in jail. Ah. Where are you? Uh, we, we don't have a... Oh, well, sorry. No, that explains it. Yeah, uh, we didn't understand, but now we understand. I was confused in the first part, but then it made sense. We have all clear? Mr. Hirschfeld, because we don't have time, we didn't know you'd be calling in. Uh, there is limited time, but there's only time for a follow-up question. I just want to say, I hope we don't get cut off again. The last time he was abruptly... No, you won't get cut off. 
And you see when you... I believe a black gentleman the last time needed to use the phone yeah. and uh, <laughs> cut, cut hey, you off. Did you get off that phone there. <laughs> All right. Yes. You see, about uh, 30, 30 years ago, the peace treaty between President Sadat and President Begin and Jimmy Carter and I organized, and I was the signer of the peace treaty. And I'm sitting now in jail, and Yasser Arafat will do nothing. He's so happy. He's looking forward. I should we only have a right. time for a follow-up question from Dracula Godfrey. I think Go yes, Arab is a little busy. <laughs> yes, Dracula Godfrey. Is it hard being a Jew in prison around all of those schmatzes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, but I am in prison. The best thing I have in prison, almost every prisoner listens to Harold Stern. I don't know why. Is, is it wonderful and being a Jew in prison because everything is free? <laughs> is, it, is it true you entered prison to get free breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and you didn't have to pay rent? Howard, you know, the joke that I told you became the symbol of the prison. What was that joke? Over here. <laughs> you bring that Jew ass over here right now. Have, you, have any of the black... Dracula Godfrey brings up a good uh, point. <laughs> have any of the black or Hispanic or white, for that matter, uh, men try to have sex with you? No, because my ass is too tight. <laughs> Dracula Godfrey, we only have time for one last question. Go ahead. I heard your rectum is as wide as a basketball hoop. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Jerry Adams, Jerry Adams used to introduce me. He's my good friend of mine, Abe Herbert. In this country, in 40 years, but he still speaks like he's arriving next Thursday. Can you say that all over again? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, Jerry Adams used to say. He's a good friend of mine, Abe Herbert, who is in this country 40 years. But he still speaks like he's arriving next Thursday. Well, this, this is really embarrassing. We didn't have the mic on. Sorry. Yes, can you just, <laughs> just say it one more time? Just we want to hear the joke on the air. No, 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 no. All right, one more time. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Joey Adams hosted me at the Friday class and introduced me to a good friend of my eight years ago. Was in this country maybe 40 years. <laughs> oh, damn it. We didn't have the tape rolling. We want it on tape. Can you just please, please just one more time? Maybe I should give it on the pussies. We'll be back. <laughs> no, just say it one more time. We weren't taping. Jerry Adams hosted me at the Friars Club, and he says, I want you to meet Abe Hirschfeld, who's in this country maybe 40 years. <laughs> oh, you still didn't get it? Oh, this is awful. I don't know what the new no, all right, all right, is. All right. well, anyway, Dracula Godfrey. Go to hell, Gilbert. Let me say something. Uh, M Mr. Uh, Hirschfeld, of course, is in prison. What prison are you in, Mr. Hirschfeld? Now I'm in Rikers Island. It's Rikers Island. It's, uh, how old a man are you? I'm 82. 82 years I'm old. 82 <laughs> years old in my head. Are you a crip or a blood? <laughs> are you a crip or a blood? Who are you more associated with? I believe I'm the crips or the bloods? I'm with the tombs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you got your message out. Well, how much more time does he have? How much more time before you get out? I don't know the job. I have a crooked job gunman, <laughs> and he said he'll keep me uh, uh, in prison. Mr. Hirschfeld, Mr. Hirschfeld, have you ever met Joey Adams? Yes, I was very close with him. Okay, so what? Do you have any funny Joey Adams stories? Yes, you see, he introduced me <laughs> at the Friar's at the Rose, <laughs> and he said, "I want you to meet a good friend of mine, Abe Hirschfeld. He's in this country maybe forty years, <laughs> but he still speaks that he's a high school I'll be, I'll be arriving and arriving. It's easier to arrive with a girl than with you. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't know what the hell is wrong with these earphones. <laughs> oh, what, what did you just say? Dracula about Godfrey. <laughs> Dracula Godfrey. Oh, you uh, asked some relevant questions of Mr. Hirschfeld. I have spoken to the attorney, Dominic Barber, who says that Mr. Hirschfeld is in prison and should not be. He, he should be in prison. He said to me, and this is a direct quote, He should be in prison. He did say that to me, Mr. Hirschfeld. I don't know if that makes you feel any better or worse. And definitely. Mr. Hirschfeld. Hold it. It's Dracula Godfrey needs to answer Mr. Hirschfeld. Dracula Godfrey. In the dark recesses of prison, have you ever remembered meeting Joey Adams? <laughs> One more time. Could you tell us the story how Joey Adams introduced you? Eventually, you guys will learn to speak. Properly. I know it's it's really well. It's it's our equipment here. Can you just tell us one more time? Okay, I'll, I'll do anything for you. Thank you. And Joey Adams roasted at me the prior staff, and he said, "I want you to be a good friend of mine, Abe Hirschfeld, who is in this country maybe forty years, speak like he's arriving at first." It's like an insane asylum in here. Wait a minute. You know what? Gilbert laughed over it. I did. You know you did. Mr. Hirschfeld, let me just say that those two beeps that we hear in the background mean that you're on a prison phone, doesn't it? Yes. And that means that the authorities could be recording this highly confidential... If they, have a, if they have a copy of the Joey Adams story, if they would please send it to me because our equipment failed. But uh, Mr. Hirschfeld, I have heard from Dominic Barber, who is considered one of the top-loaded attorneys in the country, that uh, you are a man who should be freed. I positively, I tell you, the people are suffering so much that I'm not freed. I invented a perfect 100%... One last question for Dracula Godfrey. Yes, Mr. Hirschfeld. Mr. Hirschfeld. Have you ever? Hello? Wait, Mr. Hirschfeld? Hello? They disconnected. Very important. Ladies and gentlemen, Dracula Godfrey's powers. <laughs> Incubus, come to me. Now you will never know what Joey Adams said. Once I met Joey Adams. Yes? He said, even though I arrived from Transylvania, Five thousand years ago. <laughs> All right, I didn't get the punchline. Call him back. <laughs> Tell me that story. Anyway, uh, actually, uh, at 82 years of age, to be in prison is... <laughs> All right, let's go to the rest of the news. And Robin, uh, Gilbert Gottfried here, Richard Jenny here. Just, uh, Gilbert really is going to go to hell. Yeah. <laughs> Like a, a retard. <laughs> I thought I was in an insane asylum. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> but a retard eventually would have caught on. <laughs> oh my God. Now you're making fun of me. <laughs> you said to him in the Dracula Gatsby voice many things. Oh dear. <laughs> many things. All right, now I'm going to take Home. something. I have no home. Uh oh. Hunting. I'll never get this. Despise. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving like an animal. I have something very Listen shocking to like. them. Oh, God. Children of the night. What music they make. <laughs> A spider spinning his web for an unwary prey. The blood is the life, Mr. <laughs> Einfeld. Listen to them, children of the night. What music they make. To die, oh my God. to be really dead, must be glorious. There are far worse things awaiting man than death. I never drink wine, 
He only does the Dracula part. He'll go on forever. Uh, Dracula got it's like the... like a monologue. <laughs> we couldn't get that on our tape. All right, you are repeating that once. No, I met right. Joey Adams. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh, Very shocking news here, Howard. Shocking news? What, yes. Gilbert has a new routine? <laughs> He does not have a new routine. Now, listen to this. You're going to be shocked, too. Their eyes were red like his. I will get them for you, master. Who's he doing now? That's the whole movie. Yeah, Dwight Fry. Oh, okay. Now you know what he does all that. (laughs) He kept asking. I got you the answer. An African-American or an Asian actress who is over 40 is going to have an extremely difficult time getting work in the motion picture industry. Shocking. Wow. <laughs> That's shocking. <laughs> what, what did you go to see on a Broadway show, The Dracula Chronicles? From Gilbert Gottfried? Like, I, Gilbert on Broadway? I want to do a limited run, Gilbert Gottfried on Broadway, where he comes out as Dracula in full makeup <laughs> and does the whole movie. We do the whole movie right on stage. I'll play one of those characters. Yeah, the weirdest thing is you're going to put the, the guy who farts on Broadway a little while ago. I'm working on that. Still, I can't get him a visa. <laughs> that guy's huge. <laughs> and you can do the Joey Adams story over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me one more time, Joey Adams. Would you be willing to star in a Broadway production presented by Howard Stern? Or are you yeah. too busy? Or are you too well, busy I, I being the voice of a paperclip? Yeah. Are you booked up? Why don't we take that movie that you do? Yes. Get a bunch of actors to work around you, and you play Dracula. Why do I think I'd go see that? Because you would go yeah, see it. Yeah, I would you see it every day. You'd be the only one in the audience. When you do that, I, I, I love it. I love when you do Dracula. Dracula and his lawn furniture. It's just lawn furniture. It's plastic <laughs> and cheaply made. <laughs> Look at the trays that collect memorabilia <laughs> from the Arsenio Show. <laughs> the only girl I ever had up here was Uma Thurman. Uma. Stuart, do Dracula if he was roaming off Howard's running coach. It's just a matter of run. You have to run correctly. <laughs> Lift your legs. Lift your legs. Or you will get shin splints. <laughs> wow. Me, I can run on the ice. He runs on ice, the guy. <laughs> Watch me run on the ice. <laughs> the cold. The cold. The dark. I only run at night. <laughs> I have never run in the daytime. <laughs> I only run back to my coffin in the daytime. <laughs> Once I met Joey Adams. Well, <laughs> All right. Anyway, the Screen yeah. Actors Guild did a survey to find uh, out that Asian and, and America, African American actresses over 40 can't get work. In Hollywood, the figures amazing story also show that 62 percent of all roles go to men, and only 26 percent of roles go to women. Oh. Do you know how many actresses are <laughs> sitting there going, "Ow"? Hey, did you hear about those yeah. actresses in the United States? Oh. I just want to say these are two very funny comedians. Uh, <laughs> they're one uh, crying. And cry- when Johnny Carson used to cry. Oh, yes, yes. That, you know, with that fake tear. He never really cried. He never really He just and dabbed I, it in his eyes. Yeah. It's mm. liver. Mm. Liver stuff. It's Gilbert Gottfried. Very liver funny. So funny. Mm. Richard Jenny. Mm. It's just the wild man. Mm. When he does it's Dracula, wild. I just lose it. Oh. I lose it. I oh, lose control. That, that, if he really uh, pretends he likes you, then it would be like, oh. I am Dracula. Funny, funny stuff. Dracula. Yeah, he would peek him back. Oh, and the other thing was to throw the pencil over his shoulder. Oh, yes. <laughs> Joey, uh, Joey Adams. Oh, get rid of his pencil. Oh, I met Joey Adams. Was that, was that, was that That's funny? Right. Oh. Uh, yeah, I, I love, I love when you do that Joey Adams. Oh, I love when you, I met Joey Adams. <laughs> now, I didn't even know that you could do Dracula. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even aware that you did that. Now, yeah. I, Who I, would know that? I just <laughs> read somewhere that you did Dracula. <laughs> Is that true? Now, yeah. true story. I was, I was looking at the paper this morning. It's a true story. I read the newspaper. You read the newspaper, Johnny? You yeah. want, d- d- I, wow. 
Now, wow. Not familiar. What would make I, you do that? I don't have a research department. I read the people myself. <laughs> Since I assume that some people who are watching are unbelievably retarded, I have to over-explain everything. <laughs> now, if you're not familiar with Dracula... Yeah, yeah. Someone who uh, apparently Dracula was from would, uh, Transylvania. Is from, is from, which is a fictional place. We should, <laughs> if we should point that. Never out. read the paper and seen Joey Adams come. <laughs> uh, he was a comedian. He would print jokes there. Now, now we have someone coming up. Well, actually, I read this. He actually met. He was introduced by Joey Adams <laughs> at a variety yeah. road. Robin, what else is in the news? Because this can go on all day. We were talking about earlier the girl who was uh, sort of kidnapped and and tortured. This is. Wild. Yes, is it is. Wild. True story. True story, John. It was in the paper. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, if you don't know, this oh. is clever, clever oh. stuff. They picked her oh. up at a mall. The people oh, are actually I'm, from this area. They I'm constipated. Oh. Picked her up at a oh. mall, and the abuse almost uh, started immediately after she got into the car. They handcuffed her, drove her to Rhode Island, took her to a motel where they beat her, choked her, and sodomized her. Now, for those of you who don't know what rape is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are those of you unfamiliar with the word sodomy? Now, now that would be uh, an entrance no, uh, no, into no. somebody's body in a way that uh, is considered unnatural. By Against them. their will. <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> Some people consider that unnatural. <laughs> and, and I read you are raped. Uh, oh, that's dear. something I read in the paper. Uh, uh, I read it this morning. True story. Yes, yeah, true story. You were raped and sodomized uh, for 24 hours? I not. So you, uh, you were beaten until your eye whites turned red? Yeah. Huh, that's uh, one. Well, yeah, huh. That's so very anyway, good. she was there for several days. They even handed her off to another guy. Now three people are under arrest, and I guess she's going to hand you off to Ed. <laughs> this kind of thing all the time. A man <laughs> in Grand <laughs> Rapids, Rapids, Michigan, with 17 to 15 you are years correct. in prison for raping two of his foster daughters. Yeah. Upon learning of his oh. sentence, he then uh, tried to attack a television camera. Me, the bird of <laughs> happiness. <laughs> you have the <laughs> droppings in your head. The my, Ray Bugle, every story. Is my, uh, it took two deputies to pull this guy off the reporters. Uh, I never. True story, I never had daughters. No? I had three sons, Ricky <laughs> and the other two. That's right, I forget their names. And I hardly had any contact with them. <laughs> But I cried on TV when they died. The guy did apologize, though, to his two now, if you don't know uh, what sons are. child victims. True story. If you don't know what a son is, it's, 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 if you have a child who's a female and you have another one who is the opposite of that, <laughs> I read a son. I read about my sons in the paper. <laughs> True story. I just read it on the way over here. Tonight. I know that because I read it. <laughs> a bishop who married a woman with uh, in one of uh, the. I, I know Joey Bishop. <laughs> Not Joey Bishop. There's a Catholic bishop. Uh, Keep our like, booty. <laughs> a 70 year old guy or something. And he decided that this whole vow of chastity thing was a bunch of hogwash. Right. So he went to the Reverend Some Young Moon and he got married in one of those mass weddings. They gave him a Korean bride. Now, this is true. He ran off with the Korean bride. Uh -huh. Apparently, she's now pregnant. Then he met with the Pope and he has decided to rejoin the Catholic Church. The way you read that last story. It was so good, I'm going to invite you to sit on my couch. <laughs> oh, that, that's clever. Clever, clever stuff. So she's now, she hasn't seen her husband since he met with the Pope. It's like the Pope made him disappear. He, oh. he met the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> was that a true story? <laughs> this was, this was and... Cool. She says now that she's going to go on a hunger strike. In, on a hunger strike. Until her husband returns. That's a great monologue. That's, I that's don't think that's wild. very good for the baby. Then is Jimmy Stewart's here to do bad poetry. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. My dog, Bo. My dog, Bo. I uh. stepped on my toe. Uh. And and the uh, three stooges have a guy named Mo. Oh, dear. Uh, I, he was the best dog I ever had. Uh. And when he died, I was sad. Ed was a schmo. <laughs> yeah. Ed, you should go on a hunger strike. That was the second scariest thing besides Groucho is when Jimmy Stewart came on. I know, and everyone acted like it was, he yeah. was normal. <laughs> like what he was doing was funny. And that thing on his head was real hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He never said, what is this thing on your head? Uh, America's beloved Jimmy Stewart. Come on now for 20 minutes and ramble on. Oh, I goodness. once had a fish. We put him in the dish. 
<laughs> That's my poem, Mark. Alf, I don't know what a poem is. <laughs> Ordinarily, <laughs> words do not rhyme together. And in this particular kind of writing, they do. <laughs> <laughs> and Johnny would never say poem. He would say poem. A poem. A poem. He's a poem. P-O-L-M. Poem. <laughs> poem. He's written a poem. Pete Marmoni. He's written a poem. Gary Condit uh, has given indication uh, he is going to run for re-election in the year 2002. Yeah. Now, for those of you who have not been following this story, Gary Condit. His annual now, fundraiser. Uh, now, this is a, now, pay attention. This is a wild, <laughs> wild storm. Now, he, he, of course, came to our knowledge because of the whole Chandra Levy disappearance. <laughs> and he now says... Point Setia. Even though... <laughs> Some of the newspapers in Modesto are calling for his resignation. The newspapers of Modesto. <laughs> but I believe that's the Modesto Bee. The Fresno Bee, the Modesto Bee, they all bees. And uh, Condit now says to the newspaper. As a son of a bee. In response to their calls for him to resign his office, that they are mistaking his silence in public uh -huh. with the fact that he did cooperate with the police. Now, for those of you who don't know what beginning. silence is, <laughs> <laughs> what would that be? That would be, uh, you know, many times there are sounds uh, known as noises. <laughs> the absence of those is called silence. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you hear a sound, and that's not silence. <laughs> well, it is, it is, it is really well. We're going to have someone come out and talk about this in a minute. This oh, is one. Have, have we set this up enough? <laughs> President Bush has made a decision on stem cell research. It has now come under fire because a lot of the American public is against uh, limiting stem cell research. But yesterday he said he's made, made his decision and he's sticking by it. Number 12. Huh? Gilbert, I know you're very upset about this and I know you want to break out of character yes. and say something and say something as Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Gilbert. <laughs> Uh, Julie Adams. <laughs> All right, here is the... The president making his stupid statement. Here it is. It's a very dumb statement. Because really, there should be stem cell research. I'm not going to change my mind. I'm the kind of person that when I make up my mind, and, and, and uh, I'm not going to change it. Isn't that great? There's going to be people who've got all kinds of opinions. No matter what information I'll he collects, listen. he will not never listen. <laughs> he will never change his mind. I, I don't care if I'm wrong. I'm not changing my mind about it. And, and most people talk like this do not like Jews, so I suggest you mind your P's and Q's. I, I, I hate those no good cakes. Now, let me tell you I something. My mind about when them. Dick Shady makes up his mind, I don't change my mind. I gave mine, and I gave it to the country. I gave my mind to the country. <laughs> and that's how I'd be as commander-in-chief of the armed forces. You know, that's what happened. I was been... attacking the country and it turned out that they wasn't actually doing anything, I, I, would, I would have already that. gone on record and I'd bomb the crap that's out of right. You know what would happen to Lon Chaney in prison? What? Dick Chaney. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and uh, let me just uh, say hello to Howard, who wants to say hi to Gilbert Gottfried. Go ahead, Howard. Howard? Hey, how you doing, Howard? Hey. Since the NBC day. All right. I used to work with Gilbert on uh, Up All Night, and I got a couple of really funny Gilbert stories. Well, another I, another great milestone in Gilbert's career. Yes, so. That show yeah. on cable, yes. Yeah, it was wild. We were all sorry to see that go. You know, when you look at the whole body of Gilbert work, you realize <laughs> show business is a complete waste of time. Yes. <laughs> go ahead, yes. The best story about Gilbert was the time we were doing a shoot, and uh, everybody left. There was nobody left but a couple of crew people, and I go in the elevator and take some equipment down, and Gilbert's standing in the elevator holding an apple. Okay, he was riding up and down in the elevator for like 25, 30 minutes waiting for this girl from uh, from the crew to come into the elevator. I think she was like the makeup girl. And he tried to pick her up in the elevator with an apple. It was the most hysterical thing I've ever seen. All right, thank you. Well, that, yeah. was, that was a funny, funny story. Uh, uh, you used the old apple. Uh... <laughs> Who we'll let him take? Uh, yeah, that was yeah. Uh, as funny as Abe Hirschfeld's Joey. Yeah, yes. that we'll was an exciting story. We're going to take a break. We'll be back right after these I words. I was man with a man who taught Rodney King how to parallel park. Howard Stern. You tell me if you think I'm out of my mind, because I don't think I am. The Howard Stern Show. Hey, what's this? Oh, yeah. I love me. Gilbert Gottfried tomorrow at Caroline's Comedy Club in Manhattan. For ticket information, go to carolines.com. Also, Richard Jenny here today, and he's going to be at the Rascals Wednesday and Thursday in uh, West Orange, New Jersey. And uh, he's got richardjenny.com. How come there's not a gilbertgottfried.com, I wonder? I, I, don't un I don't understand any of the dot-com stuff. Yeah. But did I ever tell you this time I was riding in an elevator with an apple? 
Uh-huh. Oh, this was hysterical. Uh, Robin, let's... Uh, he ought to put that on his website. Let's wrap it up because, uh, you know, you know what I mean. I can't get away from that right Exactly. Now. Why bother? Um, Constipation could be an early warning sign. Uh, 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 a Parkinson's uh, disease. Oh, Men who suffer from constipation uh, are more likely to get diagnosed with Parkinson's. Yet scientists have little idea why this is the case. Gilbert, you're regular, aren't you? Yes, yeah, yeah. So I'm pretty healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Some have suggested the disease may have an effect on the function of the gut long before it manifests itself. Yes. Manifests itself in the shaking of your limbs. Very important to move your bowels. Uh, regularly. <laughs> Kelsey Grammer is he with Camille? <laughs> oh, My no. wife Camille has oh, irritable bowel no. syndrome. <laughs> Now, Camille, stop that. <laughs> there are no windows in the studio. <laughs> Camille, we're going to go to a special dinner tonight honoring me, Kelsey Grammer. Oh, for <laughs> God's sake, Camille. Oh. Please, the Spielbergs are sitting across from me. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. For God's sake, Camille, please, I know you have irritable bowel syndrome, but you can't hold it in. All of the goldfish are dead now. <laughs> Camille, we're going to be introduced to a man named Joey Adams. He's a very famous comic. He's very weak and he can breathe well. <laughs> he needs all the oxygen he can get. Oh, Camille, you just killed Joey Adams. Uh, let's go on. Kid. Oh, for God's sake. Camille. Camille. Our electrical wires are exploding. Camille, you must be killing John Gotti. All right, Camille. They say he's getting worse. A friend of the former New York Times tells us leader that oh. Gotti is the Oh, now aliens have landed. Hold it a second. Growing Camille, tumors. I'm going to count to three. And, and it is unclear how much longer he will live. I'm going to count to three and see if for three seconds you don't have your irritable bowel syndrome. All right, here we go. Friends and family members have begun to gather at St. John's Regional Center in Springfield, Missouri, where guys are being treated. Two, he was diagnosed with head, two and, half. and neck cancer oh. in 1998. Oh, for God's sake. a cigarette. I'll pretend this is that, not going That dress you're wearing costs... Five hundred thousand dollars, and now it's ruined. <laughs> I think you could control your irritable bowel syndrome if you tried, honey. Let me count to three. Here we go. Let's try this simple exercise. This is what the doctor told me to do with you. One, two. Oh! Isn't it time for you to start working on your internet show? Oh, yes. Camille, you're not even trying. <laughs> What's that impression? <laughs> yes. What are you doing? <laughs> this is Camille, like this is Dracula guy. <laughs> oh, Dracula grammar. Oh, you, no. you could kill werewolves with those cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. The Evangelical Lutheran Church won't make a decision. We're going whether... into church now. <laughs> Don't fart. <laughs> and committed relationships should be allowed to be ordained. You ministers. killed the minister. <laughs> Camille, you're going to meet the Pope today because of my Frasier show. They've invited me. Oh, oh the pleasure meeting. Oh, my God. What was that? Delegate <laughs> to church-wide now, assembly. I was, I was, hey, hey, what was that sound? You yeah, voted to study the issue. Please, I'm an old man. I'll gain this for the next four years. What was years. that? The board? Oh, my God. Italy is right, being attacked. As a gay Lutheran minister, you're expected not to participate in gay sexual activity. Now, we don't know what irritable bowel syndrome is. Camille, don't do that on the apple Gilbert is holding. You know, last time we did that on the show, I heard, like, the TV station was afraid of, like, running the part where I said, can you put a rolled-up newspaper in your rectum? And that what? was like a big legal discussion. Yeah, can you imagine? Yeah, that was like... That'll send someone over the edge. Yes. Anyway, Go here's ahead. a gay activist Good. named Jake, among others, outside of the uh, Lutheran Conference Tower. Number there, there's someone named Camille who's farting outside. <laughs> what number, Robin? Oh, no, my ten. goodness. She messed up my hair. If everyone got to know Jake, your hearts would be changed. I am Jake, and I know that God loves me for who I am. So there, Indianapolis hmm. police uh, say about 50 protesters were outside of the city concerning gays in the Lutheran Church. Hey now. 
So there. Camille, please, not during the nose. Camille, don't fart on a mental chair. I hate to bring up the Grand Canyon helicopter tour credit. Don't fart in the Grand Canyon, Camille. Oh, it's deafening. Oh, it's an echo. It's uh... <laughs> <laughs> the helicopter crashed 60 miles outside of Las Vegas. You just made the helicopter crash, Camille. <laughs> and, uh, you know, several people died. Uh, it killed five New York tourists and the pilot. The only you survivor. killed the pilot, Camille. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the only survivor was uh, Tana Dash. Would you press your ass cheeks together? Maybe that'll stop. <laughs> She was burned over 80% of her body. You burned 80% of her body. <laughs> and uh, she only has a 10% chance of living. No, she won't even live, Camille. <laughs> Camille, I've gotten you the best doctor's money to buy. All of them agree that if you squeeze your ass cheeks, and if I count to five, and you can hold it in, that's a good exercise. <laughs> Seven children were orphaned. One, <laughs> two, of this crash. Three, four. Oh. Oh. All right, that was good. I'm crying. I blew them in from drink. <laughs> <laughs> A winemaker from northern Italy. Who Please, sparked... you'll destroy his wine. All right, let's finish the uh, news. <laughs> Mark Cosmo's controversy with his Hitler label. <laughs> Play... <laughs> that part was worse than Hitler. <laughs> Play... Camille, I've built you a special mini skirt. He plans to uh, add a Tito to his vintage. We put charcoal in your mini skirt to absorb the horrible smell of irritable bowel. He began selling wines with the faces of famous dictators on the label six years ago. He will Oops. offer Tito that wine. That part was worse than the third right. <laughs> Tito wine to tourists visiting Italy from the Balkan countries of Croatia and Slovenia. <laughs> That wine is destroyed, Camille. Camille, not on my mother. Oh, dear. The guy rejects claims that he's a fascist or a Nazi. Mother, this is Camille, my new bride. And he also offers... Oh, that was a car backfiring. Ignore it. <laughs> mother? <laughs> mother? <laughs> He also offers bottles of wine with pictures of Stalin, Marx, Lenin, and Che uh, Guevara. Che Guevara. Gilbert's hero. Oh, dear. Camille? A man has changed his name to Santa Claus legally. Camille, I'm going to serve my mother dinner now. I'm going to give her the first course soup. I, want, I don't want you to eat any soup because your gas will be horrible. Mother, how is the soup? Mother? Oh. Well, well, this is a flaming souffle I'm breaking out. Please David don't Porter was originally banned from taking the name in a state district court who claimed he may face lawsuits in the future because of it, but the Utah Try Supreme some Court crazy glue. See if in helps. Salt Lake City has decided to okay I'm the putting name five change. drops of crazy glue in there. Now try to hold it back. Uh, the court said that Porter has the right to select the name by which he is known. <laughs> Claus says he has a big tummy, glasses, and a big bushy white beard. Santa Claus. So he His should beard had name. color before Camille <laughs> parted on him. Because he looks authentic. So right. He's now Santa Claus. And <laughs> Go ahead, Rob, please. The Reverend Al Sharpton. I didn't know he was still in jail after he stopped his hunger strike. He is still in jail. and uh, Even Al Sharpton can eat Camille. <laughs> <laughs> He's lost his appetite. Camille, we're going to go visit Al Sharpton. Don't blow one of your farts next to the jail cell because he'll, Is he in here? he'll be released. <laughs> huh? I'm ready to have a big dinner here. Oh, gee, I just lost my appetite. <laughs> yes. Sharpton is scheduled for release on Friday morning after serving 90 days wow. for trespassing uh, during a protest. <laughs> Of the Navy's bombing exercise. There's some gas trespassing in here. You're going to call us from jail and uh, tell us the Joey Adams story. <laughs> On the Puerto Rican Army. Really, what time Joe Adams uh, brought me up? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Sharpton lost 40 pounds in prison uh, while he was on his hunger strike, and they expect a lot of celebration when he gets out. I lost the weight when Camille fought in front of me. Camille, uh, now that we're home alone, after visiting Al Sharpton, I just want you to know 
I had our mansion painted, freshly painted. <laughs> and if you let out gas, the paint will be ruined. Oh, oh for God's sake. Ben Affleck. You threw it. You threw it. Rembrandt on the wall. <laughs> ben Affleck is, uh, of course, in <laughs> rehab. How right. Affleck. <laughs> Very sad. Because Affleck. One of our greatest stars. <laughs> Affleck. Yes, Ben Affleck is in the. Uh, is in the Affleck. <laughs> All right, Gilbert, I'm annoyed with you now. Okay, it's enough. <laughs> Affleck. He has a gambling and drinking. Affleck. <laughs> but they let him out. I'm gonna turn off his mic. Go ahead. They let him out to go to the third annual Teen Choice Awards in Los Angeles. Right. Another now, award show. Who's, who else is in there? He's in there. Ben Affleck is in there. Uh, who else is in front of this? Danny Bonaducci. Danny Affleck. Camille. Camille. Ben Affleck. Oh Camille, if you could say Affleck with your guest, we could make a fortune. <laughs> Uh, That's oh, it. Goodness. They say a uh, very you somber. You just killed the duck. <laughs> a very somber looking ass. <laughs> Bill, if we could teach your ass to talk, oh, perhaps yeah. then we'd get some money. In. Oh, my goodness. He took the podium to pick up his surfboard trophy. And this was Affleck. <laughs> For a choice movie actor offering a few words of thanks. So, uh... Hi, Mr. Godfrey, you're no longer the voice of the duck. We've gotten Camille. How <laughs> huh? so many people in that rehab? Could you please uh, right. demonstrate your... Right. You're, you're so Finally this morning, American Pie 2 was the number one movie at the box office. Right, American Pie 2. Shannon Elizabeth, who returned Great actress. in her role as Nadia, says uh, she uh, she talks about playing that character once again. With the accent. Yeah. What a fabulous accent she does. It seemed like in the first one, I was the only one that didn't get catty, jealous, angry, something. And I felt like maybe that's an American thing, and, and she's European, and that's the European thing. You're reading too much into this. Well, really yeah. So just be open with who you are, and... So I think that was my biggest challenge, not necessarily that she oh, changed something. Oh, challenge doing that. Goodness. But to keep... Challenge was keeping those fake breasts in your bra. A lot of things about her life. All right, come on. Oh, Enough of goodness. her. Uh, Helen Hunt gets to work with Woody Allen in the film The Jade Scorpion. Here she talks about the terrifying idea of doing a dialogue-filled uh, scene oh. opposite Woody, face-to-face. -face. It must have been terrifying. Because you don't want to be the guy four lines before the end who messes up. You don't want the to be guy. The guy. That's interesting. He's happy with the tape and he is. Um, but that didn't happen. And he... Real, don't fart on Ellen. Please, because yeah. you're a very famous actor. Huh? You're so... But she farted um, in the middle right of the scene. That's trying crazy. To <laughs> All right. Is that it, Robin? You can't bring her here. She farted. And finally, Angelina Jolie is an original sin with Antonio Banderas. And uh, she was asked, why is this film so filled with sex? It just it's because Antonio can't speak English. It tells the story. It's necessary for the story. Um, it all tells the story. So I never saw it as sex. I don't see it. Oh, okay. It's not sex. Right. It's not sex. It's, it's a story. Magic. A story about sex. And that's what all right. Thank you, Robin. Let me uh, give a plug to these two very funny gentlemen. Uh, Richard Jenny, funny guy. Oh. Richard Jenny, this Wednesday and Thursday, Rascals Comedy Club in West Orange, New Jersey. For more information, 973-736-2726. Go to richardjenny.com, J-E-N-I. Gilbert Godfrey, tomorrow at Caroline's Comedy Club in Manhattan. For ticket information, go to Caroline's. Oh, very quiet during his plug. Yeah. <laughs> during the plug, it's serious business. Be very quiet, Gilbert's plug. Don't forget the E-show tonight, Mitts on a Misfit. Watch the time-lapse excitement as one sleep-deprived, delirious contestant wins $1 million. Who was the last man standing? Find that tonight on E. It's actually a good visual for you to check out. Uh, Camille will be farting on Rhode Island later. <laughs>